aware were you as well that in the main nobody had even heard of you? I realized that when I arrived and uh, I thought I was quite successful in France but uh, at that time it, was, it is not like today you know uh, 10 12 years ago England uh, English people knew anything that happened in England French people anything that happened in France and uh, the separation was uh, much bigger and the internationalization was not as uh, not, was not like today you could hear only watch the England games that very first game, if you cast your mind back to then, what was your very first impression of English football? I felt that the team was better than I expected it to be. And uh, there were some funny memories because at half time I'm quiet, you know, you, uh, usually. And uh, at the time uh, uh, the players were chanting at the back, uh, I suppressed the mouse bars or the chocolate bars and all that before the game. And the players were chanting in <laughs> on the coach. <laughs> they were starving because they were used to it. They were chanting, we want our mouse bars <laughs> at the back of the coach <laughs> going to the game. <laughs> what, what did you make of it? I thought it was funny. Did you give them the mouse bars? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most important thing though, if you like, your biggest battle? To get those players to believe in you so that you could then go on and get those initial victories. Because if you hadn't done that, and was there ever a point where you thought, Hang on, I've taken away their Mars bars and they know alcohol's banned. Well, Was there uh, a point where you thought... You, you, you have always to give the players uh, the feeling that what you do is coherent and that you know what you do. If the players... Uh, it, it's quite simple. A team with good players, without a manager, they think is good enough, does go nowhere. A manager with, who is good has no good players goes nowhere. Success in football is always linked with a combination of both. And the team uh, with good players and the bad manager, they go nowhere as well. Uh, only on short term it can work. So of course you need the, the players to believe in you and uh, to, to respect you, like you have to respect the players. But what I want to say, I was lucky when I arrived to have a team with good players. Not including the current squad, who is the player you've enjoyed working with the most and has been the most successful? I will never tell you that. Why? Not including because the current it would squad? Because uh, it would be disrespectful to... Because for, for uh, one reason is 99% of the player I had, I enjoy to work with. And every player is different. You, you compare a Dixon uh, with a Thierry Henry, is nearly impossible. You compare an Archavin with a Dennis Bergkamp, is nearly impossible. But I enjoy to work with both of them, you know. And I, I'm, I must say uh, uh, as well that uh, at the top level, I, I, I say I'm privileged to work at the top level because at the top level is the easiest way to work with a player. Why? Because they are motivated, they are intelligent and they want to be successful. When you're a manager and you have these three ingredients, you're always happy and you enjoy to work with the players. You can sometimes uh, have disagreements. But basically you enjoy because you, you know we are on the same trip than the players. When you go down, it becomes much more difficult. Because the players do not, not always really motivated, they do not really want it, they are not the same. A top level player has always an objective assessment of his performance. And so it's always easier to improve him because he knows what he's done right and wrong. And that's why I uh, always convince this job is hard but it's harder down. Have you changed at all in the last 13 years? I have changed. Of course, first of all, physically I've changed. And, uh, but what has not changed is my desire to do well and to win the games. And I'm still sick when we don't win and uh, still happy when we win. Uh, the happiness lasts a bit shorter because you, one of the uh, advantages and disadvantages of experience is you anticipate the problems. But to anticipate the problems means as well you're always in the future and always anticipating problems. And that means a little bit less enjoyment of the present. You do, I must admit, you do admit more uptight, if you like, on the touchline in particular. Is that true, would you say, since, since you first started? Maybe, yes, because I, I, I believe that uh, recently I've been under a lot of pressure, you know, uh, to win. and. Uh, and uh, my sense of responsibility is even uh, bigger. The longer you stay, the more you know. Uh, 
you uh, have that resp immense responsibility to keep everybody happy and the supporters who love the club to have good weekends. And uh, so it has a weight. And uh, as well, maybe because the team was a bit younger, I uh, felt a little bit more uh, responsibility to guide them uh, through uh, these periods. Best moment of the last 13 years? I would say uh, uh, the best, achieve, best moment is maybe to win uh, uh, the first championship, 98, because then you, you know that you can win here. And uh, the best achievement, certainly, to be a whole season unbeaten. Worst moment? There are a few. There are a few. Uh, uh, the Champions League final lost in the last 13 minutes when you're so close. The semi final of the Champions League lost last year without having the, the, the feeling that we played at our level, you know. Uh, that were certainly the two worst uh, moments, but as well, you have some. some uh, Maybe uh, uh, one of the bad feelings I have is that uh, we lost the championship uh, the year where Eduardo was injured. 2007, we were so close to win the championship and lose it after the injury of uh, Eduardo. It was some, some very disappointing moments. But when young managers ask me, uh, what do you advise uh, to be a manager? Is to survive disappointments. Because that means that's where the intensity of your mental strength and of your passion is measured. To win is easy for every, every manager can survive that, you know. And uh, to survive as a manager is, of course, to get over disappointments and come back and be even more motivated. Who motivates you? My internal uh, desire to, to do well, to refuse to be average, to refuse mediocrity, to, that pushes me always to try to be better. And, uh, 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 I don't believe that uh, you can get that from anybody else. What you achieve in life is uh, what is. Uh, how much do you really want to be successful? You're a very modest person, but do you believe that you get the full recognition for what you've achieved here? I don't know, and I uh, I feel yes personally. I feel yes, but uh, I uh, I believe that uh, uh, when you're in a job. In this job, you always think you don't do well enough, you know, because you always think uh, uh, you could do better. Maybe there's uh, more to take out of a team. Uh, you could play better. You could uh, so uh, somewhere, uh, maybe even when you get recognition from outside, internally you're not completely ever happy with what you do. Sounds like you're never happy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, but, but that's life at the top-level sportsman. I believe uh, one of the characteristics of a top-level football player is he's never happy uh, completely with what he's doing, and that pushes him to give more. If you won the Champions League, would you say that's it? No. Job done. No, 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 no. I, I enjoy that life uh, on a daily basis. I can maybe one day not be uh, uh, wanting any more the pressure at that level, but still manage uh, teams. Uh, because that's my life is to go out there and, and uh, play football. And uh, so I don't think that is necessarily linked with achievements uh, or with trophies. Would you rule out being here for another 13 years? No, uh, certainly not. Uh, I have to be realistic. But uh, I, uh, first of all, I get to an age where you need health uh, and, uh, and uh, you do not decide about that. And secondly, uh, with some sta uh, at some age you have to stop. Lastly, there has been one notable change. You don't wear glasses anymore. Has your eyesight improved? No, no. My contact lenses are, <laughs> are good. Does your eyesight still let you down occasionally? <laughs> yes, you know that very well. 